Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to give you four amazing habits to take into your life which are going to help you stay happy and blessed. So the first thing is it's really important to be kind. So I could give you loads of quotations in Islam about being kind but there's no need really because every living thing responds to kindness. But when we give out goodness and positive energy, and this is the point I'm trying to make, we are helping ourselves because that is what we get back. And if we intentionally go out of our way to try and give someone trouble or hurt someone, it will totally rebound. So the point I'm trying to make, folks, is what we give out is what comes back to us. And there's a lovely quotation from the Sufi poet Rumi. I don't know it by heart, so I'm going to read it. When we practice loving kindness and compassion, we're the first ones to profit. And so the second thing, guys, and I know this is so obvious, always try and do the right thing. So sometimes, you know, we can lose our way through emotions or something and then we, we don't do the right thing or if there's a reward, like a carrot dangling, we think well, that's rather nice, we might lose our way a little bit. But the trouble is when we go off on the wrong path, these things again, they rebound. And Alhamdulillah in Islam, we have guidelines on what we do and what, what we shouldn't do. Um, which are quite clear, but they're not, life isn't always black and white, so sometimes there are a lot of grey areas. So it's important at least to have the intention to try and do the right thing. But there's a lovely quotation, there's a lovely hadith, which can help when we're making decisions about which direction and which decisions to make in life. Um, again, I'm going to read it, I believe it's a hadith. Righteousness is about doing that which the soul feels tranquil. And I don't know whether I said that right, tranquil. Wrongdoing is that which wavers in the soul and moves to and fro in the breast. So I guess that's about addressing our conscience, guys, and listening to our conscience. The third one is giving charity. Now, as you all know, charity is one of the pillars in Islam. It's compulsory for Muslims. I know in my life things didn't really change until I gave a lot more focus on giving charity because charity, giving zakat, acts as a protection. Um, again, there's a lovely hadith here. Give charity without delay because it stands in the way of calamity. The last thing, always turn to God. Again, blatantly obvious. You know, sometimes when we have a problem in life, we run to this person, we run to that person, we think maybe this person can help us, maybe that person can help us. And when we have a problem, it's good to be proactive. It's important as well sometimes to, to go to someone who you trust, who can help you or who has the expertise. But ultimately, whether that gate opens, ultimately it's up to God. Now imagine a scenario where you were trying to resolve something in life. I don't know, it's, it's um, I'm just making it up, let's call it X, you were trying to resolve X. Imagine if the whole neighborhood were working with you to try and resolve this problem X. Imagine if the whole town was working to try and resolve this problem X and the whole country and all the, the, the Prime Minister and all the Prime Ministers and Presidents in the whole world were working to try and resolve this issue. Unless God says, yes, that gate will not open because ultimately all power is with God Almighty. And so folks, always turn to God, always remember God, because God has told us in the Quran, this is a quotation from the Quran, remember me and I'll remember you. So folks, small simple tips 
from FARA um, qualifications, the University of Life. Take these into your life, guys, and I hope that helps. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you in the next video.